Welcome to EPG Partshala, a project of National Mission on Education using ICT. I'll be talking on using model library standards Mark 21 and Dublin Core under the paper Information and Communication Technologies for Libraries. First, we'll start with the objectives of this module. The module intends to impart knowledge of the following aspects of Mark 21 and Dublin Core metadata standard. After going through this module, you will be able to understand basics of bibliographic standard, concept of Mark 21, concept of Dublin Core, basics of Mark tagging system, basics of Dublin Core metadata elements, and record structure of Mark 21. First, we'll try to understand Mark 21. The core of the automated system is the bibliographic information that describes the material in the collection of libraries and provides search terms so that these materials can be discovered. It not only provides a means for the user to search the library collection but also helps the library professionals in managing the library collections. Over the years, catalogers have defined various rules for standardization of the bibliographic information related to the library records. The most prominent and widely used library cataloging standard or rule is AACR2, which is quite comprehensive but are restricted to choice and rendering of bibliographic elements. They do not dwell into encoding of bibliographic elements in an automated library system. The Mark 21, the full form is Machine Readable Catalog, are standards for the representation and communication of bibliographic and related information in machine readable form. The Mark code does not provide an instruction on description of library materials, but is a standard for format for bibliographic information into a computerized record. It is used to create catalog record in a way so that computers can read and interpret. Simple book has two types of information that is authority and bibliographic. The information from a catalog card cannot simply be typed into a computer to become part of an automated catalog. The computer needs some program or code to interpret the information that is available in specific format on a catalog card. Mark standard has ability to encode the bibliographic information in machine readable format. The Mark 21 record contains various signposts before each piece of catalog information so that it can be identified easily. It is an important bibliographic standard that ensures effective and efficient retrieval of data through online public access catalog. The short form is of online public access catalog is OPAC. It offers variety of tags to store and describe related information that can be used for searching a catalog item. Now we'll try to understand structure of Mark 21. A mark record consists of three elements that is record structure, content designation and content of the record. Now we will try to understand first record structure. The mark standard presents a generalized structure for bibliographic authority and holding data. However, it does not specify the content of a record. In simple words, the record structure provides information on tags, indicators and data elements that are used to create the record. Now content designation. Predefined codes that are used as prefix to the data elements within a record 
to support the manipulation as defined in the Mark 21 formats. The content designation is designed to support the functions of formatting the data for display such as printing of card catalog, production of machine readable catalogs, printing of bibliographies, etc. It is also used for information retrieval of the records. For example, content designation for author is 100 and for title is 245. Content. Content in most data elements is defined and rendered in accordance to standards such as Anglo-American cataloging rules. The information in a mark record is stored in character form and records are coded in extended ASCII format. Mark 21 record contains letter, directory and variable fields. The letter is a 24 character fixed field that stores important information about the mark record required for processing of the record through computer. Directory is an index to the location of variable fields within a record and starts at position 24. It has an entry for each mark field that contains three characters tag, field length in four characters and starting position of, for each field in fifth characters. The variable fields are classified into variable control fields and variable data fields. The content in mark record is divided into letter, directory and variable fields. Now we will try to understand what is letter. The letter is first field in the mark 21 record and has a fixed length of 24 characters. In octets position 0 to 23. So total there are 24 characters characters but it starts from the 0 so that is why it is counted as a 0 to 23 it has a 24 characters only graphical characters of ASCII are allowed in the leader the structure of the leader defines in the mark 21 is given in this example the leader is first filled in any mark record and has a fixed length of 24 characters. Octet's position is 0 to 23. So there are total 24 characters, but since it is starting from 0, total number of characters till 23 is equal to 0 to 24. Leader. The leader is first filled in any mark record and has a fixed length of 24 characters. Only graphical characters of ASCII are allowed in the leader. The structure of the leader defined in the mark 21 is available in the document of mark 21. The numbers indicate the character positions occupied by each part of the leader. Now we will try to understand the structure of leader in Mark 21 records. Record of length, record length, character positions 0 to 4 contains a 5 character ASCII numeric string equal to the length of the entire record including itself and the record terminator. The 5 character numeric string is right justified and unused positions contains 0. The maximum length of a record is 99,999 octets. Record structure Character positions 5 contains an ASCII graphic character which indicates the relation of the record to a file, for example, new record or updated record. Type of record, character position 6 contains an ASCII graphic character which specifies the characteristics and defines the components of the record. Implementation defined, 
करेक्टर पोजिशन सेवन टू एट आंसी जेड थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट टू एंड आई एस ओ टू सेवन जीरो नाइन रिजर्व कैरेक्टर पोजिशन जीरो सेवन जीरो एट फॉर डेफिनेशन बाई ए पर्टिकुलर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन द इंडिविजुअल मार्क ट्वेंटी वन फॉर्मैट्स डिफाइन दिस कैरेक्टर पोजिशन इफ नीडेड पोजिशन में कंटेन ओनली आस्की ग्राफिक करेक्टर्स एनी पोजिशन नॉट डिफाइन कंटेन्स एज अ ब्लैंक बिब्लियोग्राफिक लेवल पोजिशन नंबर सेवन कंटेन्स एंड आस्की ग्राफिक कैरेक्टर विच ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड काइंड ऑफ डेटा कैरेक्टर पोजिशन सेवन contains an ascii graphic character which also provides information about the components and characteristics of the record type of control character position 8 contains an ascii graphic character which also provides information about the components and characteristics of the record character coding scheme position 9 contains a code that identifies the character coding scheme used in a record indicator count character position 10 contains one ascii numeric character specifying the number of indicators occurring in each variable data field in mark 21 records the indicator count is always 2 subfield code length character position 11 contains only ascii numeric characters specifying the sum of the length of the delimiter and the data element identifier used in the record in mark 21 records the subfield code length is always 2 the ansi z39.2 and iso 2709 for this data element is identifier length base address of data character positions 12 to 16 contains five ascii numeric characters that specify the first character position of the first variable field in the record it is equal to the sum of the length of the leader and directory including the field terminator at the end of the directory the number is right justified and unused position contains zero implementation defined character position 17 to 19 ansi z39.2 and iso 2709 reserve character positions 17 to 19 for definition by a particular implementation the individual mark 21 formats define these character positions if needed positions may contain only ascii graphic characters any positions not defined contains a blank entry map character position 20 to 23 contains four single digit ascii numeric characters that specify the structure of the entries in the directory length of field character position 20 specifies the length of the part of each directory entry in mark 21 records it is always set to 4 length of starting character positions starts with character position 21 specifies the length of that part of each directory entry in mark 21 record it is always set to 5 length of implementation defined character position 22 specifies that part of each directory entry in mark 21 records a directory entry does not contain any implementation defined portion and therefore this position is always set to zero undefined character position 23 this character position is undefined it is always set to zero now we will try to understand directory the directory is an index to the location of data within a record consisting of a series of fixed length entries with one entry for each variable field presented in a record each directory entry has 12 characters in length 
starting with position 0 and ending with position 11. Each entry contains three portions that is field tag, field length and starting character position. Directory is located in the record at 24th position and it follows the leader. Directory for all types of mark record is mandatory and is, does not have any indicators and subfield codes. The positions and the descriptions 0 to 0 2 that is for tag. So total three characters are used for tag. 0 to 2 are used for tags. Positions in a di directory. Positions in a directory. 0 to 2 is used for tag. So total 3 character tag. 3 to 6 is a field length and 7 to 11 is a starting character position. Directory entries for variable control fields appear first, sequenced by tag in increasing numerical order. The stored sequence of the variable data field in a record does not necessarily correspond to the order of the directory entries. Duplicate tags are distinguished only by the location of the respective fields within the record. The directory ends with the field terminate field terminator the directory ends with a field terminator character ascii 1 e hexadecimal character variable fields we will try to understand control fields and variable data fields the 00x fields in the mark 21 formats are variable control fields variable control fields contains of data and a field terminator they contain neither indicators nor subfield code variables control fields contain either a single data element or a series of fixed length data elements identified by relative character position variable data fields all fields except 00x are available data fields. Variable data fields. All fields except 00x are variable data fields. Four levels of content designation are provided for variable data fields in ANSI Z39.2. A three character tag stored in the directory entry. Indicators stored in the beginning of each variable data field, the number of indicators being reflected in letter 10, indicator count. Subfield codes preceding each data element, the length of the code being reflected in letter 11th character position. Subfield code count. A field terminator following the last data element in the field. In variable data fields, the indicator contains value conveying information that interprets or supplements the data found in the field. The Mark 21 formats specify two indicator positions at the beginning of each variable data field. Indicators are defined independently for each field. Parallel meanings are preserved whenever possible indicator values are interpreted independently meaning is not ascribed to the two indicators taken together indicators may be any lower case alphabetic or numeric character or blank means hash numeric values are defined first a blank or hash is used in an undefined indicator positions or to mean information not provided in the definition indicator position
इंडिकेटर्स में बी एनी लोअर केस अल्फाबेटिक और न्यूमरिक कैरेक्टर और अ ब्लैंक न्यूमरिक वैल्यूज आर डिफाइंड फर्स्ट अ ब्लैंक इज यूज इन एन अनडिफाइंड इंडिकेटर पोजिशन और टू मेन इंफॉर्मेशन नॉट प्रोवाइडेड इन अ डिफाइंड इंडिकेटर पोजिशन द ब्लैंक मे हैव स्पेसिफिक मीनिंग वेन नेसेसरी फॉर फर्ड कंपेटेबिलिटी द वैल्यू नाइन एक्स एक्स इज रिजर्व फॉर लोकल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन द वेरिएबल फील्ड इन मार्क रिकॉर्ड मे हैव वन टू नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी नाइन कैरेक्टर्स वेरिएबल फील्ड इज बाइफरकेटेड इन टैक्स इंडिकेटर्स एंड सब फील्ड ईच वेरिएबल फील्ड हैज थ्री पार्ट्स दैट इज टैक्स थ्री डिजिट्स न्यूमरी कोड इंडिकेटर्स मैक्सिमम टू डिजिट्स एंड सब फील्ड कोड्स मैक्सिमम वन डिजिट नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज टैक्स द थ्री डिजिट न्यूमरी टैक्स आर असाइंड टू द फील्ड दैट दे रिप्रेजेंट इट इज पॉसिबल दैट द टैग मे अपीयर मोर दैन वंस इन अ रिकॉर्ड थस इट इज लेबल्ड एज रिपीटेबल द फील्ड दैट आर नॉट अपीयरिंग मोर दैन वंस आर लेबल्ड एज नॉन रिपीटेबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ कैटलॉग रिकॉर्ड कैन हैव सेवरल सब्जेक्ट हेडिंग्स सो द टैग्स फॉर सब्जेक्ट हेडिंग एडिड एंट्रीज सिक्स डबल एक्स आर लेबल्ड एज रिपीटेबल एंड टाइटल स्टेटमेंट इज लेबल्ड एज नॉन रिपीटेबल वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मार्क ट्वेंटी वन टैगिंग सिस्टम यूजिंग द पिक्चर गिवन इन द मॉड्यूल मेन एंट्रीज वन एक्स एक्स मेन एंट्री पर्सनल नेम इज वन हंड्रेड मेन एंट्री कॉर्पोरेट नेम इज वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन मेन एंट्री मीटिंग नेम इज वन हंड्रेड एंड we will try to understand mark 21 tagging system using picture main entries starts with 1 xx main entry personal name 100 main entry corporate name 110 main entry meeting name 111 main entry uniform title 130 series is stored in 4 xx tags subject headings are stored in 6xx tags personal subject heading or subject heading as a personal name goes in the 600 field corporate name subject heading goes in the 610 Confer conference subject heading goes in the 620 uniform subject heading goes in the 630 653 used used for uncontrolled vocabulary 650 used for keywords topical terms now indicators there are total two indicators for each field each indicator has a single character and positions of both the indicators for each tag indicators are not applicable to first nine tags that is 0 1 2 0 9 indicators there are total two indicators for each field each indicator has a single character and positions of both the indicators follow each tag indicators are not applicable to first nine tags that is 001 to 009 one or both of these character positions may be used for indicators in some fields only the first or second position is used in some fields both are used and in some fields like field number 020 and 300 it is never used when an indicator position is not used that indicator is referred to as undefined and the position is left as blank it is the convention to represent a blank or undefined indicator position by the character hash each indicator value is a number from 0 to 9 however two indicators together may look like a two digit number they really are two single digit numbers the allowable indicator values and their meanings are spelled out in the mark 21 documentation the following example shows the first three digits are the tag number for title field that is 245 defined for the title 
and extend to that next two digits that is one and four are indicator values the one is the first indicator and the four is the second indicator subfield codes all the data in each field beginning with the 010 field is divided into subfields each of which is preceded by a delimiter subfield code combination the most common subfield codes used with each tag are shown in the example each subfield code is preceded by the character dollar signifying as a delimiter the example is given in the module sample record is given in the module you can understand while reading types of mark 21 standard mark 21 is grouped into five major categories based on data type that is bibliography authority holding classification community it is necessary to understand bibliographic authority and holding tax related information as in day to day work all these tags are used mark 21 standard is bifurcated in five authority mark 21 fields are authority data authority mark 21 fields for authority data is designed for storing information concerning the authorized form of personal names subject keywords and subject subdivisions the information which is repeatable and needs to be entered in the specific form without any spelling mistake is stored in the authority files the term personal name refers to personal name x00 corporate names x10 meeting names x11 names of jurisdictions x51 uniform titles x30 the term subject refers to topical terms that is x50 topical terms geographic names and geographic names the tag is x51 used for subject subdivision generic subject subdivision chronological term x48 names of the subject subdivision uniform titles with subject subdivision x30 bibliographic tags the mark 21 fields for bibliographic data is designed to store bibliographic information about printed materials computer files maps music serials etc bibliographic data commonly includes title names subjects notes imprint information and information about the physical description of an item the bibliographic format contains data elements for various types of material that is books continuing resources that is serial publications computer files maps music visual materials mixed materials etc the bibliographic data refers to the following tags that is 0xx numbers and codes 1xx main entry fields 20x to 24x title and related fields 25x to 29x addition imprint etc 3xx physical description 4xx series treatment 5xx note fields 6xx subject access fields 700 to 75x added entry fields 76x to 79x linking entry fields 800 to 840 series added entry 9xx locally defined fields third is holding types third is holding data the mark 21 format for holding data is designed to store holdings information for three types of bibliographic items that are identified a core available in ladder 06 type of record single part item an item which is complete 
in a single physical part for example a single map a one volume book a computer file etc multi part item an item which is complete or intended to be complete in a in a finite definite number of multi part item an item which is complete or intended to be complete in a definite number of separate physical parts for example a set of map a musical score and parts a 10 volume essay encyclopedia multi multimedia kit a musical collection etc series item serial item an item which is issued in successive parts at regular or irregular intervals and is intended to be continued indefinitely for example a journal serials item an item which is used in successive parts at regular or irregular intervals and is intended to be continued indefinitely for example journal following tags are used to store holding information of various types of metadata fields captions and patterns field number 853 to 855 enumeration and chronology 863 to 865 textual holdings 866 to 868 item information 876 to 878 now we will try to understand dublin core metadata standard dublin core metadata standard is used for describing digital documents the standard named as dublin core because it was involved in a invitational workshop held at dublin ohio during 1995 and core is added because all the elements defined in the standard are broad generic and usable in describing wide range of digital resources it is also known as a standard for cross reference description of digital resources before we understand dublin core metadata initiative we have to understand what is metadata the metadata is nothing but a textual description about an object the object could be anything it could be a print or a digital characteristics of dublin core simplicity it is very simple and easy to understand there is no technical competencies required to understand dublin core metadata standard semantic and interoperability it is a compatible with semantic web and also supports interoperability one can migrate from one software package to another software package whenever required international consensus dublin core is widely accepted as a metadata standard by the information scientist all over the world extensibility it is very flexible and easy one can define his own elements as per the requirement while working metadata modularity on the web metadata elements from different schemas as well as vocabularies and other building blocks can be combined in a syntactical and systemical metadata modularity on the web metadata elements from different schemas as well as vocabularies and other building blocks can be combined in a syntactically and semantically interoperable way there are total 15 dublin core elements that is title creator subject description publisher contributor date type format identifier source language relation coverage rights etc now we will try to understand what kind of information is being stored in these elements title a name given to the resource for example title of any video file audio file painting photo or a document subject the topic of the resources typically the topic is represented using keywords 
key phrases or classification codes for example library of congress subject heading or the subject specific nomenclature description an account of the resource description may include but is not limited to an abstract a table of content a graphical representation or a free text account of the resource for example a photo caption descriptive information of a artifact or museum object summary of a lesson plan or abstract or some summary of a long document creator an entity primarily responsible for making the resource for example author editor artist photographers institutional authors or producer such as university or federal agency source the resource from which the described resource is derived the described resource may be derived from the related sources whole or in a part for example accession number collection of objects division of an archive or library publisher an entity responsible for making the resource available for example actual publisher if there is one or any entity who is responsible for publishing an object date a point or period of time associated date a point or period of time associated with an event in the life cycle of the resource date may be used to express temporal information at any level of granularity contributor an entity responsible for making contributions to the resources for example person who contributed a story or file for an omeka collecting project or owner or donor of collected objects rights information about rights held in and over the resources typically rights information includes a statement about various property rights asso associated with the resource including intellectual property rights for example spell out conditions of use of specific rights information about rights held in and over the resources typically rights information includes a statement about various property rights associated with the resource including intellectual property rights for example spell out conditions of use for specific items here creative common types public domain relation a related resource recommended based practice is to identify the related resource by many relation a related resource recommended based practice is to identify the related resource by means of a string conforming to a formal identification system format the file format physical medium or dimension of a resource language a language of the resource for example english russian spanish etc type the nature of genre of the resource for example document moving image oral history sound still image website event email etc identifier an unambiguous reference to the resource within a given context for example doi or url coverage the spatial or temporal topic of the resource the spatial applicability of the resource or the jurisdiction under which the resource is relevant temporal topic may be a named period date or date range a jurisdiction may be a named administrative entity or a geographic place to which the resource applies this is an example of dublin core metadata elements encoded record thank you